Hi everybody, it's Kim Wilson here, Craft Doc, and I have another Lunchtime Live. Remember the last time I showed you a really crazy uh, fun fold with the new Hey Chick bundles? Well, I did another one, and next time I'll do an easier one, I, I promise. But this one, this one wasn't too bad. I, I used some more of those fun dies that I cut out, and all those cute little chicks, and I stacked them right up. Now you could do this same card as um, as a single layer card and just use the masking technique. You'd have to um, make masks for all the little chicks so that they would fit together nicely. But it's so much easier just to cut them out um, with the dies and stack them up. And then this little one's saying, you're still a spring chicken. And then I put the, the little cake one on the inside. Oh. Grab the envelope and I missed one of the chicks. So he went on he went on the envelope. So hey chick You're still a spring chicken. Let's celebrate you. Happy birthday I'm having so much fun playing with these cute little chicks. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys how I did this background here um, this is a um, Slimline card. So the dimensions. Let's see if I can remember they are um, it's Eight and a half this way, so your piece of cardstock like this, and then seven inches this way, and then you score it at three and a half. And so it's just a nice handy, um, handy measurement, and then it fits great in a legal size envelope like that. Anyway, so I had in mind that I wanted to make the slimline card, and then I wanted to do the background with the um, chicken wire. So we've got all wired up there, and I um, since the background doesn't go for the whole distance. I wanted to show you how to get this kind of neat little modeled effect there. And I used the Stamparatus. And I did not put my sticker on the back of um, the background stamp. I just think it's really hard to put the stickers on those, the really big ones. So this one I left off. And I'm going to lay it that way because I'm going to pick it up with my um, Stamparatus plate like that. Right, just checking to see if you can see everything. And I've got um, that dimension here, um, it's eight and a half by three and a half. So, and I use smoky slate because most chicken wire is kind of um, silverish, and I think smoky slate is a good, a good silver color. And now when I did it, um, this card, I just kind of tapped here and there with the edge of my ink pad. I want to try this time to see if I can do a little. Um, see how it looks if I did sponging instead to put on my ink. So I'm gonna just grab some ink and add some add some bits of ink here and there with with my sponge. And the nice thing about using the Stamparatus is that once you um, put it down, and if you don't feel like you had enough ink on there, you can just add more. Oh, I like that. That turned out good. So. Um, and then for the other side, I just flipped it over like this. And um, since we're not um, making it even and everything, covering the whole background, it's not going to really matter in the center there what I do. So we'll add a little more ink there and some of, let me see where, it, where it's going to end up right there. So we'll add just some little more bits of ink here. Maybe some on the corners would be good see how that looks okay there and there I've got my little background for my chicks so I did want to tell everybody that um, it's we're over halfway through celebration so if you are thinking that you you've got quite a wish list going here of all these new things we keep coming up with then I would recommend um, looking into the demonstrator starter kit you could actually get both of the um, the hay chick bundles with um, with the dies and a little bit more maybe watercolor pencils and multi glue oh yes and and the all wired stamp set I figured that out those three things or maybe you'd rather have the take your pick tool and some snips I mean you can put whatever you want to in the kit and the kit is ninety nine dollars plus tax so it's really affordable and you get a great discount and not only um, do you get to pick whatever you want to in your kit up to 125 um, you get free shipping on it too so that is an additional 
benefit. And you also get a free paper pumpkin kit. They'll throw one of those in your kit. And um, the special for a celebration is these paper packs. So you get five paper packs. So you have every single Stampin' Up! color in those packs. So that's cool. And so the, um, the kit, if you like numbers, the kit's 99 plus tax. You get 125 in product of your choice. You get free shipping, which is another 15 value. So that makes it 140. And then um, these items, the paper pumpkin kit plus the free paper is another $85 value. So I put it all in my calculator and I came up with 225 um, total value for um, your $99 plus tax investment. So a great way to get a discount on products if you have a long wish list. But the best part of all is we have just a really fun community. So the staff is wonderful. The other demonstrators are great. And we share ideas and just have a lot of fun together. Um, especially we have great meetings that we get to see each other on. Although we missed all our meetings in 220, but we got to do them all virtually. So that was a fun way to connect. Um, but that's one of my favorite things is why I do Stampin' Up! because I love to travel and uh, get to meet other people that love crafting like I do. Anyhow, there's my little commercial for today, and so I hope you uh, might look into that. And if you have any questions about the Stampin' Up! starter kit, demonstrator starter kit, or about my project today, you can just give me a message in the comments below. Happy crafting and have a great weekend.